Hey guys, and welcome to the first After Effects Beginner YouTube video. Each month, I will be showcasing the best five tutorials. I want to keep these videos short and sweet and tell you what I like about them and why. Let's get started. The first tutorial is by Ben Marriott. And what you'll be doing in this tutorial is learning how to create a VHS effect. And what I really like about this tutorial, at the start, you see reference images to phosphor dots. And what these are, are the foundation of the CRT tubes. And what's good about this is when you break an effect down and understand it, it becomes a lot easier to make and takes out a lot of the guesswork. The first part of the tutorial shows Ben creating a composition for the phosphor dots. And this is the foundation for the effect. And once this has been done, the next stage of the tutorial is to create a flicker effect. And after that, you'll use some more effects to give it a realistic look. And the best part is that it's all procedural. Overall, I think this is another brilliant tutorial from Ben. And as always, I'm excited to see his next one. The second tutorial is by Sonduk Films. What I really like about this video is how five different techniques can all be used to create one overall effect. However, each of these can be used individually. The first effect is to create a seamless title using the text tool and to add the motion tile effect. The second effect is to create a grid and background. This is done by creating a solid and using the grid effect. The third effect is adding distortion effects such as turbulent displays and optics compensation and CC lens. And the fourth effect is an RGB blur, which is essentially splitting the RGB color channels and adding a blur. And the fifth effect is adding some noise. And what this really helps to do is just add a little bit of texture. And what's great about tutorials like this is it not only teaches you a new technique, but it can also serve as inspiration when you're working on a project. The third tutorial is by Boone Loves Video. In this video, we get a breakdown of the 15 best plugins to use in 2021. What I really like about this type of video is you can quickly see what a lot of different plugins do and what their purposes are. As there are so many plugins, I won't go through them all, but I will highlight a few which I really like. Shadow Studio, GeoLays, and Lockdown are incredible. They all do completely different things. For example, Shadow Studio lets you create radial, long, and inner shadows, and you can optimize the render times. GeoLays lets you create maps directly in After Effects, and these are accurate based on the data it pulls from the web. Lockdown, on the other hand, is a tracking plugin. And what this lets you do is you can track a scene and once that scene's tracked, you can use the information to incorporate various elements. So you can incorporate video or you can incorporate still images. But what's really good about this is you can actually track to hard surfaces and also organic surfaces. The plugins that I've just mentioned are all paid, but there is another tutorial in which he talks about free plugins. I'll link that one in the description below. Finally, in a shameless plug on my part, but I actually wrote an article which can be found on the blog that talks about the plugins that I've been using. I'll link that in the description too. The fourth tutorial is by Francisco. In Francisco, I'm really sorry, but I don't really know how to pronounce your surname, so I'll not even try, because it'll just be embarrassing. What I really like about this video is it's all about expressions. And although we get a few tutorials that have expressions in them, it's rare we get full tutorials just about expressions. For those that don't know, expressions are little pieces of code injected into properties on the timeline. For example, a common expression is the wiggle expression. As the name suggests, it will wiggle the value of the property you set it to. What you'll do is you'll create a space scene with glow illumination and you'll learn how to orient the highlight of the sun. And after that, you learn how to make it look cool with some effects. Overall, very informative and definitely worth a watch. And in the fifth and final tutorial, we'll be looking at a video by Camp Keyframe. In this video, you'll be designing a clock in Illustrator and then exporting it from Illustrator into After Effects. And from there, you'll animate it. So what I really like about this video is how you get to see the relationship between Illustrator and After Effects. A lot of the time, you may find yourself creating graphics in Illustrator or Photoshop, 
and then bringing them in After Effects. There are separate workflows for both Illustrator and Photoshop. And in this tutorial, you will see some great Illustrator techniques, followed by a good way to export from Illustrator and import into After Effects. And the second part of the tutorial is related to animating the clock. And what's really good about this is you actually get to see how the clock's rigged and then animated. Overall, this is a fantastic tutorial. And that's it. The five best tutorials for January 2021. And you'll find all of those linked in the description below. If you like this video and would like to see more, please give us a like and hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification icon too. Please also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and visit our website where you can sign up to our newsletter. If you do have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And if there's been any tutorials you've watched in January that you really like, let me know. Thanks.